What's going on guys, it's Bryce here and we're back with another video ranking all the tracks on 21 Savage's new album, American Dream. It's been a long time coming. This is his first solo album in five years and it kind of just came out of nowhere with a little promotion and such and personally, I think it's a great album. But there are some tracks I am not feeling as much so in this video, I'm going to go through the track list in chronological order and we're going to talk about each and every track and rank them. So let's get into this. Starting with the first track, I did cut off the intro to the album because it's just a skit, whatever. But the first track here, All of Me, wow. I mean, that flip of the vocal in the background in the energy that 21 Savage brings without even having energy on this track is immaculate. I mean, it's just starting out. I think the album starts out phenomenal. And I, I'm just gonna glaze for the first half of the album because I think it's very good. But this All of Me, that's an S tier. Next, we have Red Rum. Now, do I even have to speak about this track. This is by far the hardest track on the album. As far as like a banger goes, this is the track he put out to get the heads moving. And let me tell you, it definitely did because this shit is crazy. And that sample flip in the beginning is, I'm a sucker for stuff like that. This S tier, of course. And of course, called Red Rum, you have the shining sample at the end. I don't know how he got that clear, but shout out to Nolan Savage for that. That shit crazy. Next we have NHIE featuring Doja Cat now, not gonna lie. This is crazy. This is such a good track. I mean, Doja Cat fits so well on here. I wasn't sure how this collab was going to sound, but she was back on her rapping stuff, kind of like her most recent album. And let me tell you, it fit perfectly. It really did. This is another S tier. I don't care. I don't care. It's that hard. Next, we have Sneaky. Now, this is a banger. This is a hard track. I don't think it quite lives up to the top three in S tier I have right now. But don't get me wrong. It does slap. It does slap. It just doesn't. It's a little bit of a slower tempo and the subject matter isn't quite there compared to especially the back half of the album which is more subject matter heavy in my opinion it's not quite there so i'm gonna put it up in a next we have pop your shit featuring young thug now i love seeing young thug on here of course free young thug shit is crazy atlanta we we figured it was gonna happen especially seeing mariah scientist on here but we figured it was gonna happen and this song i do like a fair amount I still don't think it lives up to the S tier. It is a slower tempo song, which is fine. I got nothing against that. But for a song like this, where the 808 kind of just bangs and it's loud and it's the slow tempo, it can be a little off-putting for me. A little off-putting. I'm going to put it in A. I'm going to put it in A. Next one, we got Letter to My Brother, which is an incredible track. I mean, he is sitting here on his conscious rap shit. This is like a hip-hop, as pure as hip-hop could be track from 21 Savage, which I love to see. People calling him Mumble Rapper all these years. He's coming back, spin actual real shit like he's doing a lot on this album. I don't know if it's quite S tier for me, but I'll I'll oh I'll put it in S. I think I think it's that good. I I, I think he's just really rapping on here, and that's something I respect to the fullest. Next we have Dangerous featuring Lil Durk. Another banger. I mean, like I'm saying, this album, it starts out strong. It really does. And this is just another slapper. I mean, Dirk is not on his singing stuff. He's on the rapping stuff, which is the Lil Dirk I prefer. I'm not huge on Lil Dirk singing. I know that's kind of what his hardcore fans like. Not me. I, I am a fan, though. I listen to everything he puts out, of course. This one, I'm feeling A on it, too. I know. I'm feeling A on it. I told you I was going to glaze the first half of the album. I told you I was going to. Next, we have Nina featuring Travis Scott. This is probably my favorite song in the album. Travis Scott with incredible performance, the low auto-tune, the rapping, going in. This is the type of Travis Scott I love. It really is, and 21 complimented it perfectly, the way it builds up with Travis coming in and progressing the song. It's so good, man. S tier, instant S tier, come on. Next we have See The Real, which is a little more of a upbeat, happy, feeling track which i did like to see on here and it's definitely groovy it definitely gets you in the mood i don't know if it's quite touching me like some of these other tracks though i'm gonna keep it all the way real but i do enjoy it i'm gonna put it in b i think that's how i'm feeling next we have prove it featuring summer walker now summer walker has been killing all her performances i mean i don't think i've heard a bad summer walker performance in my life granted i don't listen to her that much i've just heard her most recent album and her recent features especially on kendrick lamar's album but seeing her on here was dope to see and she killed it she really did however this song in total it's a little more r&b and stuff in this back half of the album kind of punches in on that and the more conscious kind of music and that is a side of 21 savage we've been waiting to see and i don't want to knock it i don't want 21 savage to do the same thing his entire career i'm glad the song in the style of songs is on this album but it wasn't my favorite. It's in B though, because it's still good. 
Next we have Shoulder War Up On It featuring Brent Fiaz. Now this is an R&B infused track that I absolutely love. I mean, I, I really do love this track. Brent Fiaz has one of the most soothing voices that ever voiced ever. Hearing him on 21 Savage, the juxtaposition of that like monotune kind of lazy flow. I mean, 21 Savage does do the lazy flow, but he makes it sound so good. This track's an S. It just is. It just is. Next we have Just Like Me featuring Burna Boy. Now, I am a Burna Boy fan. I've liked their other song they have, but this one wasn't touching me the way it should be. Shut up, Burna Boy. It's just, that's not really the type of music I go to that much. I'll say it's a C. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next, you have Red Sky, which is kind of a hard hitting track, kind of to get the closing off right before we get this next track, which I will get into. But this track has a vocalist on. I'm not even sure who it is, but that hook is dope. I like the flip. I think it's a very well structured song, but I must say, out of a lot of the songs in here, it's a little bit more generic that I would have hoped for. Personally, I think it is good. It's just not a song that when I listen to this album, I'm a rushing to get to. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put it in B. That's how I feel. Now we have the final song, the closing song, a very appropriate outro for the album, Dark Days featuring Mariah the Scientist. This is a completely new side of 21 Savage and we've gotten hints of this throughout the album, of course, in the back half, like I've been saying, but this one, is the most conscious, progressive, intelligent version of 21 Savage I have ever heard in my entire life. I know he's extremely smart, he's been extremely smart his whole career, but this song really was a full circle moment for him in his career and how he came up and where he is now. It kind of takes everything into perspective, talks about the street life, where he came from, why it's not good and you shouldn't be doing it, and he really goes into detail and there's nothing I appreciated more, of course, with Mariah the Scientist, with that angelic voice of hers. I absolutely loved it. S tier, perfect outro for the album. Perfect outro for the album. Now that is the tier list. Looking at this, I don't have no problems with this. This was a good album. It was so good. I mean, it's already my favorite album of the year. I mean, not like there's a lot of competition. Baldy James had a really good album though, I will say, but that's how I'm feeling on it. If you guys want to make your own tier list, there is a link in the description to it. Make it, tweet it at me, show me what you guys got, put it in the comments down below, all that. But if you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you like, subscribe to the bell so you don't miss out on videos, updates, anything like that. Go in the description, follow my TikTok, my Spotify, my Twitter, my Instagram, get that weekly updating new music for your plays, enjoy my Discord down there too. And yeah, it's been Bryce. Peace.